In this lecture, you'll learn about the different configuration options you can use for SAN thin provisioning and how things are going to differ depending on whether you've used the command line or the system manager GUI. Different options are available for volume provisioning type one space reservation and fractional reserve. You can use thick, semi-thick or thin provisioning. And I'll explain what those mean in the slides coming up. You should pick the option which fits the technical and business requirements of the workload and different configurations, either thick, semi-thick or thin, can be used for different workloads within the same cluster. So as I go through the rest of this lecture and you see what those three different options mean, you'll see where they would be used, which workloads they would be suitable for. So if you've got a workload that requires thick, then use thick for it. If you've got another workload where thin provisioning would be better, you can use thin provisioning for it and you can mix and match on the same cluster. You can use the dash space dash SLO, which stands for service level objective field when creating the volume to set the provisioning type, fractional reserve and snapshot settings. So most of the settings are configured at the volume level. At the LUN level, really you just say whether it is thick or thin provisioned. So the command is volume create. And then when you're creating the volume, you'll have all your other settings in there like the SVM, the volume name, the aggregate, the size, etc. And you also configure dash space dash SLO and either thick or semi thick or none. And again, starting on the next slide, I'll explain what those different options do. Alternatively, you can configure the settings manually. So again, when you do the volume create command, rather than using space SLO, you can set the space guarantee, which is volume or none, the fractional reserve to zero or 100. And we've also got the volume snapshot auto delete modify command. So you can configure those commands separately, or you can use space SLO, which will configure them all for you in one command. So starting off with semi thick provisioning. Semi thick provisioning uses thick provisioned volumes and space reserved LUNs, so also thick provisioned LUNs, and a fractional reserve of 0%. So it does not reserve the space for your snapshots in the volume. Because of that, it requires less upfront storage space to be provisioned than the fully thick option, which does use a fractional reserve of 100%. So semi-thick provisioning is suitable when you can accept a best effort overwrite guarantee in order to get some space savings. So this is generally the one that's is preferred rather than thick, which takes up a lot of extra space. The settings that this will configure when you use space dash SLO semi thick. The volume space guarantee is volume, meaning it's thick provisioned. The volume fractional reserve is 0%. Snapshot auto delete is enabled. The trigger is volume. So when the volume is starting to get full, it will start aggressively deleting the oldest snapshots. It starts by deleting the oldest first and the commitment is destroy, meaning that it is going to aggressively delete all of the snapshots in the volume, not just your normal snapshots that are used for your backup, also snapshots that are used for snap mirror and snap vault, et cetera, as well. The reason for this is we have to make sure that we do free an up enough space so that we can do those overrides. Other settings it configures, volume auto grow is off. The primary space management is snap delete rather than auto delete because snap delete is the one that is enabled. The snapshot reserve is set to 5% because that's the default when you create a volume at the command line. But best practice is that you should actually set this to 0% when you're using semi-thick. We want to have that guarantee for LUN overwrites. So we want to make sure that snapshots aren't taking up the space in the volume. So that's why this should be set to 0%. You can still take snapshots of the volume for your short-term backup, but set the reserve to 0%. The snapshot policy will default to the default policy. You should configure this with your own snapshot policy that sets how many snapshots you want to take and how often you're going to be taking them. 
and the one space reservation should be enabled. So this is a separate command. When we use the space SLO semi thick, this is when we create the volume. We're going to create the LON separately later in the next command. That's why I've put an asterisk here. When you create the LON, you should set the space reservation to enabled, meaning that the LON is also thick provisioned, the same as the volume. Semi-thick provisioning with snapshot auto-delete allows easy monitoring of space utilization by monitoring at the volume level. So just keep an eye on your volumes and check that they are not filling up. Size the volumes to hold the LUNs and the snapshots, plus some overhead. And if the volume does start to fill up, then older snapshot copies will be auto-deleted to allow the LUNs to remain online because we're still going to be able to write data to them. You can optionally also enable volume auto grow as well as snapshot auto delete with auto grow being tried first when the volumes get full. This decreases the chance of snapshots having to be auto deleted because having to delete the snapshots is still a bad thing. I mean, we're taking the snapshots for a reason. We're taking them for our short and convenient short term backups. So we would prefer if the snapshots are not deleted. So if you've got space in your aggregates for the volumes to grow, then you can enable volume auto grow as well and use that first. Still have snapshot auto delete enabled as well as a fallback because it's really important that we need to make sure that the volumes do not get full, that we can still write data to the lands. When we do also enable auto grow, the aggregate can now be automatically used as a dynamically shared pool of space because that volume auto grow is enabled. So you've got extra space available there in your aggregate. That space can be given to the volumes on a first come first serve basis. Whenever they need to grow, they will grow and start using extra space in the aggregate. So the volumes compete for that aggregate space available. If the volume cannot grow because the aggregate is full or because you've reached the maximum value that you're allowing that volume to auto grow to, then snapshot auto delete is also enabled and that should keep the ones online. When you have got the volume auto grow as well as the snapshot auto delete enabled, you need to monitor the aggregate as well as the volumes now because of auto grow. Because you're allowing your volumes to grow in the aggregate, you also need to keep an eye and check if the aggregate is getting full. ONTAP provides a best effort write guarantee for volumes when the fractional reserve is set to zero and when all of the following requirements are met. So when you are using semi-thick, then you do have a write guarantee and it should work. The only problem would be if somehow you're writing so much data so fast to the volume that that overruns the snapshot auto delete. So as long as ONTAP can delete the snapshots fast enough to keep pace with the space required for overwrites, then the write operations continue to succeed. And the requirements that you should have set when you're using semi-thick to make sure that this does happen is volume guarantee is set to volume, one space reservation is enabled, so both the volume and the one are thick provisioned, volume snapshot reserve is set to zero. Continuing, Volume snapshot copy automatic deletion is enabled with a commitment level of destroy for all snapshots and a trigger of volume. So not just your normal backup snapshots, also things like snap mirror, snap vault as well. If they're taking up too much space, then we have to delete them to make sure that we can still write to the one. Also, deduplication and compression are not in use. That's because they require some space for metadata. All flex clone files and flex clone runs are enabled for automatic deletion as well as your snapshots. ODX and flex clone copy offload are not in use, and flex clone subfiles are also not in use. So if you are using semi thick, just ensure that you've got all of those settings configured as shown there as well. Best practice. Okay, so that was semi thick. Moving on to thick provisioning now. If your rate of change in the LUN is very high, in rare cases, even with the previous requirements shown on the last slide met, the snapshot copy automatic deletion could fall behind, resulting in the volume running out of space. So it's unlikely, but still possible. If you can't meet all the requirements shown on the previous slide, or you need to ensure that the volume 100% is not going to run out of space, then set the volume's fractional reserve setting to 100%. 
This requires more free space up front, obviously, and the recommended size to set the volume to is to twice the size of the LUN. But it does absolutely guarantee that overwrites on the LUN will succeed. And we can configure this when we use the volume create command at the command line with the space SLO thick option. When you do that, the volume space guarantee is volume, meaning that the volume is thick provisioned. The volume fractional reserve is 100%. So that's the difference between this and semi-thick. With semi-thick, the fractional reserve is zero. With thick, the fractional reserve is 100%. Snapshot auto delete is disabled, but you can optionally enable it if you want to. Volume auto grow is off. This can also be optionally enabled if you want to as well. If you do enable it, then make sure that you monitor the aggregate space utilization as well as the volume utilization. The primary space management is auto grow rather than snapshot auto delete. The snapshot reserve will be set to 5% and the snapshot policy will be default. Again, with this, you should set the snapshot policy to be however many snapshots you want to take and how often you want to take them. So configure your snapshot policy, check how much space your snapshots are taking up in the volume and set the snapshot reserve to be a few percentage points above that. So once you've configured your snapshots where you're taking and retaining as many as you want, if it turns out that that is using 11% space in the volume, then you would set the reserve to around 13%. And again, this is a volume create command. You'll still need to create the LUN afterwards. When you do create the LUN, you should set the space reservation to enabled, meaning that the LUN is also thick provisioned. So that was space SLO thick and space SLO semi. The other option we've got is space SLO none, which just means that you're not setting a service level objective. So this actually uses the default settings. When you use space SLO none, the volume space guarantee will be volume, meaning it's thick provisioned. Fractional reserve is 100%. Auto delete for your snapshots is disabled and volume auto grow is off. Primary space management is auto grow. The snapshot reserve is 5%. Snapshot policy is default and the LUN space reservation will be whatever you configure that as when you create the LUN. Again, as with the other options, you should configure your snapshots so that you're saving however many snapshots you want. Okay, so that was space SLO. None basically uses default settings. If you create a volume using the CLI and don't use space SLO, so if you're doing a manual configuration of your volume, it will default to the same settings as space SLO thick and space SLO none. So what this basically means is that space SLO semi will give you that best effort run overwrite guarantee, but space SLO thick and space SLO none don't really do anything because we're just using the default settings anyway. Okay, so moving on to thin provisioning. Thin provisioning is suitable if your priority is to optimize space utilization by over provisioning the physical space available to your lens. So this gives you the benefit you get of over provisioning with thin provisioning. You can do that if you do not need to guarantee that space for the LUNs. The LUN or LUNs are not guaranteed space because of this. You're going to have to monitor the space utilization in the aggregate to ensure it does not get full. If the aggregate or volume that's got LUNs in it gets full, then what happens is it takes the LUNs offline Obviously, that is going to be a major issue if those are important ones. So this is not a recommended option for mission-critical workloads. There's a couple of different ways that you can configure thin provisioning. Both of them, you're going to be doing them manually. You can either configure thin provision volumes with non-space reserved LUNs. So that's thin provisioning for both your volumes and your LUNs or you can thick provision your volumes and thin provision your ones. So first option 
is where we've got thin provisioning for both the volume and the LUN. When you're configuring this, you're going to configure it manually with the volume create command and the settings to use when you do this is a volume space guarantee of none, meaning it's thin provisioned at the volume level, a fractional reserve of 0%, snapshot auto delete is enabled with volume trigger and oldest first, enable volume auto grow as well and use auto grow as the first method if the volume is running out of space. The snapshot reserve and snapshot policy are going to be defined by you, the administrator, with however many snapshots you want to take as your short-term backups. And the LUN space reservation is going to be disabled. The LUN is thin provisioned as well. So that was option one with thin and thin for both the volume and the LUN. Second way that you can do it is with thick provisioned volumes and thin provisioned LUNs. So the configuration settings to use here are the volume space guarantee, this is the difference, it is now volume, thick provisioned, the rest of the settings are going to be the same, so the fractional reserve is zero, snapshot, auto delete and auto grow are both enabled, trying auto grow first, configure your snapshots for however many you want to save, and the one space reservation again is going to be thin provisioned, it's going to be disabled. So looking at the difference between them, when you use option two, where the volume is thick provisioned and the LUN is thin provisioned, the LUNs will be allocated space on a first come first serve basis in the volume. They'll compete with each other and any other objects in the volume for space. So you're over provisioning the amount of space for your LUNs in the volume but the volume is guaranteed its space in the aggregate because it's thick provisioned. If the rest of the aggregate becomes full, it does not affect the volume as long as the volume still has space. So it's fine if the rest of the aggregate is full. If you've still got space in the volume, that means you've got space in the volume and you've still got space in the aggregate as well because you've got that space remaining at the volume level. The volume size defines or guarantees an amount of space that is available only to LUNs and snapshots within that volume. And when you use this, you need to monitor utilization at both the aggregate and the volume level. Make sure that neither the aggregate or the volume gets full, again, because that is going to bring your LUNs offline. You can set a maximum size that the volume can auto grow to, and snapshots can use space that is not needed by LUNs and they will be auto-deleted when needed because auto-grow and snapshot auto-delete are enabled. Okay, so that was configuring your LUN provisioning options at the command line. We can also use System Manager to create our volumes and our LUNs as well. And when you do use a System Manager GUI, different settings are going to be used for the fractional reserve, snapshots and auto grow than when you use the command line. When you use system manager, another thing is that you cannot configure semi-thick provisioning in the GUI. You can either configure thick or thin, but the semi option is not there. Now you could create a volume in the GUI and then change the settings in the command line to make it semi if you wanted to later. But if you were going to do that, you might as well just have created it in the command line in the first place. So let's look at what the settings are going to be set to if we create our volumes and our LUNs in System Manager. First off, using the LUN create wizard. So this is going to the LUN page and creating a LUN and its volume at the same time. When you do that, if you select default or enable for the space reserve, this means that both the volume and the LUN are going to be thick provisioned because the default is thick. So the settings will be the volume space guarantee is volume, thick provisioned. The fractional reserve is 100%. Snapshot auto delete is enabled. Auto grow is disabled. Primary space management is auto grow. Snapshot reserve is 0%. The snapshot policy is none and one space reservation is also enabled. It's also thick provisioned. And the settings that I've highlighted in bold there are different than if you had used the space SLO thick option at the command line. So you see there that if you configure a thick provisioned volume at the command line, you're going to get different settings than if you configure thick provisioned volume in the GUI. 
Next up, still using the Lawn Create Wizard, if you select Disable for the Space Reserve. So this is choosing to thin provision the volume and the lawn. The volume space guarantee will be none, thin provisioned, fractional reserve of zero, the snapshot auto delete is going to be enabled, volume auto grow is grow shrink, primary space management is auto grow, snapshot reserve 0%, this policy is none, and the lawn space reservation will also be disabled, so both the volume and the lawn are thin provisioned. I can't compare this to the command line because the space SLO command does not have an option for thin provisioning. Next up, if you don't use the LUN create wizard, but if you actually use the volume create wizard in the GUI. So this would be where you go to the volume page, you create the volume there, and then after that, you would have to go and create the LUN separately on the LUN page. So when you create the volume, if you select default or thick provisioned, because thick provisioned is the default, the settings you will get, the volume space guarantee will be volume, thick provisioned, fractional reserve is 100%, snapshot auto delete is enabled, auto grow is not enabled, primary space management is auto grow, the snapshot reserve is 0%, and the snapshot policy is none. All the settings there are the same at the volume level as if you used the LUN create wizard at the GUI. So if I just go back two slides, you can see that's what I showed earlier, exactly the same settings there. Okay, and the last one to show you is if you use the volume wizard in system manager again, and you select thin provisioned for the space reserve. Now the volume space guarantee obviously will be none, thin provisioned, Fractional reserve of zero, auto delete is enabled, volume auto grow is off, space management primary method is auto grow, the snapshot reserve is 0%, and the snapshot policy is none. And notice here, the one I've highlighted in green, the volume auto grow is off. So if you create a volume using the volume create wizard in the GUI and you select thin provisioned, volume auto grow is off. But I'll go back a couple of slides. If you use the LUN create wizard to create thin provision, then volume auto grow is actually on. So you can see there that there are a whole bunch of different settings that are going to be configured depending on whether you use the system manager or the command line. Okay, and the last setting to tell you about is the LUN space reservation default. If you create a LUN using System Manager or the command line, it will be space reserved, meaning thick provisioned by default. It doesn't matter whether it's created in a thick or thin provisioned volume. Okay, so now you're maybe wondering, why did I go into all that detail about the different settings, whether you're using the command line or the GUI? Well, the thing is, you might be working in an organization who's got different engineers working on the storage system, you don't want different engineers using a different method to provision your LUNs because that could cause different settings, which is going to cause confusion, possibly unexpected results, and it's going to be difficult to troubleshoot as well. So the bottom line, when you're provisioning LUNs, first up, decide what type of provisioning you're going to use, which one is suitable for that particular workload. Is it thick? or semi-thick or thin. Decide that first. Then when you are provisioning your workloads, your organization should have a process in place which states how the LUNs are actually going to be provisioned to make sure that everybody's on the same page and everybody's doing it the same way. Thanks for watching. If you want to get hands-on practice with NetApp storage for free on your laptop, then you can download my free ebook which you can see above my head right now. Also check out my NetApp Storage Complete course, which will teach you everything you could possibly want to know about ONTAP. Thanks.